unmuting. Hello, hello, RPG Limit Break, and everyone else here to watch SMT Marathon 3. We are starting our final day here with Devil Children Red Book. Uh, Scion and Asa, why don't you two introduce yourselves and uh, we'll get this underway. Alright, well, welcome back everyone to SMT Marathon to our final day. My name is Scion and I speedrun a lot of Megaton games. And today I'm going to be showcasing Devil Children Red Book for the PSX um, True Ending. Asa, how about you? Tell us about yeah, yourself. Yeah, hello. I'm Asa Pasca. I already uh, commentated a run before on this marathon. Uh, I don't run this game in particular, but I am a really big fan of it. And uh, no one else runs this game, so you know someone has to uh, be willing <laughs> to do commentary. <laughs> it is definitely a really fun game, though. I'm very excited to, to help with the commentary for this. Alright, so with that being said, I think I'm good to go, so I'm gonna just get started right away. Alright. Uh, okay. Three, two, one, go. Alright, and so we get started, and the first thing that we have to point out that's probably the most important for anyone speedrunning this game is that this game has uh, instant text and uh, it mashes the text automatically so throughout the entire time you won't will not be listening to me mashing violently on the controller I will just hold a single button and isn't that nice so for this game we play as Mirai who's uh, this little girl that you can see here she grew up without a father or a mother and has been wondering where they are the entire time and that's probably the main plot point that drives the story for it. So yeah, we start this off is, here. Uh, oh no, go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say this is uh, kind of like Atlas's response to uh, Nintendo releasing Pokemon games, where you know, uh, Pokemon games were for handheld systems, and they were they ca they came in pairs in two different games, and you can trade uh, your Pokemon between each other. And Atlas thought, hey, we have a demon collecting game series, we should do the same. So they released this game, and uh, they targeted. M like it a little bit towards children as compared to the mainline games where it's way for a, a lot more mature audience um, so yeah basically every single character in this game is gonna be children yes and uh, you might be wondering about the versions there are two releases of this game you have the Game Boy Color one and we have the PSX one. The Game Boy yeah, Color the... one is a longer speedrun and it has some... It doesn't have some perks that this one has. Uh, this game also has voice acting. Do I leave... Oops, I forgot to say the settings. Do I leave the voice acting on? Do you want the voice acting on? I can do that. It kind of uh, doesn't make a difference I... because we're mashing through the text anyways. Yeah, I don't think it matters. <laughs> it ma uh, it's just a viewer preference. I'm genu genuinely asking. Yes, it did have an anime. So, the story so far is like this. Uh, for, we live in Tokyo as in almost every Mega Ten game. And Tokyo has suddenly experienced some weird temperature changes. It's summer, but it's snowing as you can see. And now, demons have started appearing. And this boy suddenly ends this package that turns out to have this gun-like thing. Uh, which summons this little creature called Veil, who's a griffin and who's gonna be our partner throughout the entire game. Uh, I would name yeah. the characters, but uh, this game does not have uh, the Roman, wait, not Roman, the, wait, is it, who, who made the alphabet? The alphabet, it doesn't have our alphabet, so... <laughs> yeah, you mean the Latin alphabet, right? The, yeah, the Latin, yeah, the Latin alphabet, there you go. <laughs> I forgot who made them. <laughs> I was like, the numbers are Arabic, and uh, the alphabet is by who? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, so, I'll explain the battle mechanics in this game very quickly, because they are a little bit different from uh, most other Mega 10 games. So, in this game, we control the demons, and the party... Uh, the party, not the party. Oh, I said the wrong thing. Uh, whoops, sorry, sorry, Zed. Um, the Mirai doesn't fight at all, she's a child. 
So only mm -hmm. the demons fight. And we can have two demons side by side uh, in a fight at any point. Not like later games where there's three demons fighting. Yeah, this one only has two. Uh, so the way we order the demons in our comp, the, the, the it's not called a comp. Well, let's keep calling it comp for convenience sake, which is the gun. Mm -hmm. uh, makes the demons spawn at a certain place in, in the fight. And we want them yeah, we want so the best way to, to look at it. The best way to look at it, I guess, is you basically have two columns. You have, you know, your left column and your right column, and it, it just goes in order. So, for example, when a demon in your right column dies, uh, the next one in that right column, in your, you know, in the way you set up in your comp, is, is going to be get summoned. Exactly. And it's mostly all it's mostly all uh, two versus two battles. Yes. I now that you say that, I don't think I remember any on two fights even though later games that have, do have uh, four versus three fights um, yeah I don't, then the newer, yeah, the this one is fine games. yeah so yeah so uh, for story wise what happened was as soon as we uh, fought that w demon that kind of showed up out of nowhere that wanted to steal our comp uh, this other demon told us to go to Makai because that would be the way to find our father and that's the main motive that we get around the entirety of Makai is that we are trying to find our father and as soon as we get here we get to central land which is where the dark palace and the demon world uh, which is this guy uh, the demon world is and he tells us that to find uh, that he, in, first of all that we're a devil child Meaning that we have the blood of children and the blood of uh, demons inside of us, which makes us very strong. Mm -hmm. And that to find yep. our father, we have to get around Makai following a quest that he's going to send us on. Because apparently another devil child is going around wrecking havoc everywhere. Oh, I said the wrong thing again. Um, wrecking havoc everywhere and he's threatening to destroy the world. So we want to go stop him. And if we do that, we are sure to find our father. And he also gives us yeah, four demons right where... away. And this is where the story is kind of uh, intertwined between Red Book and Black Book because yes. um, that uh, child that uh, King Lucifer is talking about is actually the main character of Black Book. Exactly. So, uh, what he's gonna send us on is he's going to put us in a town called. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> this isn't Frost Town, it's the other town that's not Frost Town in Iceland. So, he's gonna send us to Iceland. Um, to talk to the Lord of Heis uh, Iceland, Hell. Uh, if you know Hell from Devil Summoner, this one has a little bit of, de of a different design that you'll see right away. Uh, so in Red Book, we start here and we talk to uh, the Lord, as I just said. But in Black Book, the Demon Lord doesn't like us at all and actually sends us to jail here in Iceland. So we start off in a completely different part of the game and we do different mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, so now we're outside of uh, what I would call a safe area, and now we're basically in the uh, in the wild, so we can just get a bunch of random encounters. Uh, we do want to grind until we're level 6. Uh... Yes. That's because we want to summon uh, Ichigo Frost, which we're going to get in a demon quiz. They brought us back for Soul Hackers, by the way, that's where it came from. And yeah. Ichigo Frost is way stronger than any of our other demons, even stronger than Vale, I'd say. So, oh my god, look at this encounter rate! Wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you basically got nothing. Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, I guess yeah, I'll explain all the demon the... designs. No, all the ahead. demon designs, as you can see, are completely different from any other Mega Ten game. So, that, that pink cat right there was actually Nekomata, definitely yeah. not what you're used to seeing. And this is hell, this Jack Frost look like. Jack Frost still look like Jack Frost. Yep. But there's more I guess Frost. I can briefly I guess I can briefly talk about the demons. So if you play it, you know, any Mega Ten game, you obviously know that uh, the goal of the game is to basically just fuse as much as possible, you know, you fuse weak demons into stronger ones, you know, to win the game. In this game it's a little different with Bale specifically, uh, because uh, uh, this being basically like a Pokemon ripoff, uh, they they want you to like they want the game wants you to stick with your starter, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, and the veil veil is actually quite good. Um, uh, he actually evolves at some point uh, in the run, uh, which is not exactly you know unheard of in Megaton as well. For example, in Nocturne, Pixie evolves into a High Pixie and 
Kopa Tengu evolves into uh, Karasu and then Kurama Tengu. Um, it's not unheard in Mega Ten, but it's not it's not really a common thing. But uh, it is a pretty big deal uh, in this game specifically. Okay, so they wiped my entire party somehow. So I'm going to save just so that I don't lose half my money, or else I'm going to be really short on money. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm the, the money to... is a little tight because we're going to buy a lot of very good items because the skills the demons learn are not amazing. Um, so the kind the, for the mo for especially for the early game, the items are going to carry us hard. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go with um, Veil, vale, right. however, is pretty good because Veil vale knows an AoE wind attack, which does a lot of damage. It does way more damage than pretty much anything else we have access to right, right now. Yes. Uh, Alright, so that was just a little scary. Uh, we, yeah, we want to have... Oh, oh my god, it missed. Uh, we want to have a lot of money. Um, I don't like this. But we also need to level up, so it's not like I can be avoiding fights. No follow-up. Alright, perfect. Mm -hmm. nice. um, and yeah, I'll explain the battle mechanics because we haven't even explained how it works in Solid Japanese, so people probably don't understand. Um, so we've explained the columns, that's fine. We have Veil basically always on the left column right now. It, it will just always spawn in the left column. This is a hidden demon, by the way. There's some hidden demons throughout the, the world map that we're going to collect because they're free demons, why not? Uh, the mechanic, like most of the strategy here is that we want to have a main hitter and then we want to uh, heal up the main hitter and with the other spare demons that are just going to heal him up. In, for now it's going to yeah. be Veil, who's our stronger. So we want to have as many demons as possible because they, they're just there to heal him up and help out. And there's many different types of attacks, we have the normal attack that every demon has. Uh, then we have the special attacks, which is like the wind attack that uh, I'm using right now, which consumes M uh, HP instead of MP. And then we have the normal MP spells. And then we can recruit demons as well, but we're not going to do that throughout the speedrun. Uh -huh. Yeah, so the demon we got uh, for free right there is Yukiona. Uh, she's not bad, uh, but this game has uh, what I like to call basically, you know, like a, a plus five rule. It's even though we already have the demon, you know, in our comp, we just cannot summon it because uh, she's too high level. Yeah. So it's not just about fusion, fusions in this game, it's also about just straight up summoning the, the demons. We're only gonna be able to summon Yuki on the way later. Oh, don't kill uh -huh. Veil. God damn it. Well, maybe I should have fought. <laughs> um, yeah, so this yeah, this uh, music right here, this music right here might get a little annoying. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, sure. unfortunately, uh, riding Veil is obviously the fastest form of movement in this game. And as soon as you get on top of Veil, it plays that that music and it never goes away until you know uh, you dismiss him. Um, the music is actually the big, I would say the biggest improvement over the Game Boy version though. Uh, the music is terrible on the Game Boy version. Because it's so, so it's very good. nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, still, it's still not great, it's still not great, but, but it is a big improvement. Uh, it's actually interesting how uh, close apart they made this remake because the Game Boy version came out in 2000 and then the PS1 remake came out in 2002 only two years after it which is uh, kind of an interesting decision uh, but yeah Alice used to really make a lot of games but now they, mm -hmm. they make other games all right let's move on um, we we enter Frost Island as you can see there's a lot of Jack Frost here and we're going to buy a bunch of items uh, we're going to buy Magatamas, which might sound familiar. That's an attack item that they have in this game. Uh, there are different types and they deal the same damage of their type. So we bought 21 Ice Magatamas, we bought one Angel Wing, which is a, an item that lets you warp around. And we bought some attack capsules that we're going to use very late into the game. And so Smoke Bombs, which serve the same purpose as other games, they just spawn you out of the battle. And now we're doing a, a Demon Quiz. What this... Uh, which one is it? Oh, it's this one. Uh, what the demon quiz is, is you answer a bunch of questions about demons and then you get a demon as a reward. 
Yeah, it, it gives us Ichigo Frost, or I guess the translation would be, according to the Megaton Wiki, which is, you know, we all know how reliable it is, the translation would be Strawberry Frost. Uh, you yeah. know Japanese, you can probably confirm if that's true or not. It's Strawberry Frost, and it looks like a strawberry. It's yes. a frost. It's strawberry frost. In fact, <laughs> it's right. Oh, I forgot to talk to you in the Um We. There's one strawberry frost that we're gonna have to fight called Diana. Um, uh -huh. She's protecting the other devil child that's running around that we have to go after. That's so that's why we have to fight her. Yeah, Diana is, I would say, the the first uh, uh, like scary fight of the run. You know, we, oh, we could sure. obviously we could we could obviously die to random encounters before then, but it wasn't a big deal. Diana is though. It, it she's really tanky. She also does quite a bit of damage, uh, and she's also not alone. She she's accompanied by. A couple Jack Frost as well. Well, before we fight Diane, we're gonna have to fight her friend uh, Dust. Uh, we're mm -hmm. just gonna use Ice Magatamas and it should be fun. It's usually not a very bad fight. Yeah, Ice Magatamas are really uh, nice. You can just throw them with any demon and they do decent amount of damage. And you might wonder, uh, Ichigo Cross is obviously an uh, ice type, you might be wondering why we don't use Bufu instead, but Bufu is just not as strong as the Magatama is in this point in the run. As soon as we get Bufu, yep. uh, it's going to be better. Alright, there you go. This is that. So attack items are other things that you can use to attack, I guess we had not explained that. We're going to be using a yep. lot of them. Yeah, it's uh, very interesting how early in the game you can actually buy them. Usually in Megaton games, those are, you know, not exactly early game items, but in this one they, they are. Yeah, so that's another uh, demon that we just uh, add randomly. Yeah, this is the one where I saved and was scared of losing money too because uh, if I had if we lost and I had to give up everyone, I would have enough money to buy that that guy. He asked for two thousand maka, and he's very strong. So I really want to miss him. And we kind of mm -hmm. always need him for um, Sandland to win a certain fight and get another Ichigo Frost. So I really couldn't sleep that one, but we're fine. Uh, here he is. I'm gonna go up here. Yeah, he has uh, dealing uh, skills, which is nice. Yeah, he has Dio, he has the, uh, Zia. Uh, Zio. <laughs> the cute form of Zia. Uh, of CEO. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, don't kill Zio. Alright, I think we're good on money. This guy's also money out of At some CEO. point in the run, the money will not be an issue anymore. And oh, you'll see sure. why. But uh, it's still an issue for a little bit. Just as soon as we get here, so we need to come mm -hmm. to this shop to buy 11 Estoma items. So, if you've been watching this marathon, you've heard of Estoma a lot of times. And in this game, Estoma work. Oh, wow, well, okay, I'm broke, I have no money, I can't buy uh, enough Estoma items. I'm gonna have to fight. How many can money. you buy? Uh, four. Four? <laughs> I want 11. I'm gonna sell this. So, Estoma. Uh, kind of sucks in this game in in a way that uh, you don't even. Uh, so first of all, it's not a lot of steps. There's no boon phases or anything in this game. It's just entirely based off of a step count. Uh, but the step count is very low. It runs out really fast. And also annoying thing is that it, as soon as it runs out, you can get encounter on the same exact step it ran out. So the the optimal strat is to refresh a stoma while it's still up, you know, one one step away from it running out. Oh, come on. The game is making fun of me. Look at this. Where's the encounter? Bro, I'm just trying to get money. There we go. Uh, so there's a Kate Sif. Very, very cute spread of Kate Sif. Ooh, nice crit. Nice. Hundred. Okay, I can, I can get this money. I'm, I'm earning this new money. I'll just keep track of it. 770... It's only like 3 fights. 
and then I'll sell some of my smuggled almonds. We always buy too many. So yeah, how's everyone? <laughs> how's life? <laughs> So this is the, you know, the the classic grinding segment of SMT runs. Yeah, the yeah, you, you normally segment. you normally don't do this though. Normally yeah. this run doesn't grind uh pretty much at all. You don't really need to. I think the Game Boy color version probably would grind. Oh it does. I don't know. Because yeah. you can you can't do the the one minute that I don't wanna spoil yep. that we're yep. gonna do later. That one that one's three hours long, so it grinds. <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit longer. It's also just slower in pretty much every single way. It, everything yeah. is slower. About it. One of the things I actually uh, like about this game casually, the animations are actually very good. Uh, but luckily, for the speedrun, you can just turn them off. So we don't see them, but uh, especially, you know, Dale's moves, they, they really put effort into the animations. Perfectly calculated. We are nice. good to go. Exactly, on zero. So now we're gonna see me do this a lot of time, which is me going into the menu and using the some item. This game is for on the On what console this is? Yes. Yes, the original version was for Game Boy Color, but then this is a remake for PS1. And now I'm gonna actually save because we might die to this fight and then I will not have enough money to you. Yep, so this is the first boss of the run. Diana, the Ichigo Frost. And maybe I should have put Bumbuk Chagaman on front instead of Ichigo Frost, but it will be fine. Alright, so now this fight is two Jack Frost and Diana. So we're going to be using Ice Magatamas to get them out of the way. Yeah, the very weird thing, very weird thing about these Jack Frost, they don't, you know, null or resist ice at all for <laughs> some reason. So you can just spam ice Magatamas, which is very luckily. Uh, oh, there we first. Oh, there's there's Vale. Mm. Oh, Vale's dead. Yeah, Vale is our biggest source of damage here, especially since Sailor. Yeah, so it's two Jack Frost and Diana, so we killed one Jack Frost, so now it's Jack Frost plus Diana. And Diana always goes first, so now we're in a bit of a tough Yeah, uh, Diana is very overleveled compared to uh, uh, our party. I don't know the exact level uh, she is, but uh, she's quite strong. Okay, now I'm gonna feel well. Yeah, gonna unfortunately, as you can see, as you can see, Vale just stays dead right there. That's because of the column thing that I mentioned. Uh, we currently only have one gun on us. Uh, we're gonna get the other one later. So basically, every so basically, our entire left column is just Vale and nothing else. Everything else is just the right yeah. side. So as soon as Vale de dies, we only have one demon on us. I like the concept of oh, no, nice we gun. only have one one of them. <laughs> One comp, I guess I should say, right? Yeah, no, they you're have, right, it's they one have, gun, they're guns. Yeah, one gun. They have, they have a name. One, one is Devil Riser and the other one is... Uh, it's a King Riser. A King Riser. King, King Riser, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm taking this nice and safe, because as soon as Boombook Chagama dies, all the, demons, all the other demons can't do anything. And you die in the yeah. hands, no. Then what do you die. mean, no? <laughs> She's good. No. She's dead. Oh! She's cold voice. <laughs> Can't be talking. Alright. Nice. There we go. First try. Okay. Very yeah, good. First try. So Maybe she was the final part sure. of uh, Iceland. Uh, yes. We're gonna so now we get the to... King Glyzer. Yeah, so now yeah. we actually have full access to both columns. Yes. Uh, we also got the Messiah's eye, I guess I haven't mentioned the eyes, but the eyes are the way of getting around the different worlds in Makai. So with this Messiah eye, we're now going to go to the next world, which is Marble Land. Yep, you also just saw us this Angel Wing that we bought before. Angel Wing is, you know, essentially just a Triesto item, is the yeah. best way I can put it. I don't know if normal. actual Triesto is in the game, but... Uh, no, you know, no, no, there's no dungeons to... I mean, there are actually, but you know, I don't think they're yeah. stressed. So. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, a yeah, a Angel Wing is just viable <gasps> in the shop, so that's all we need. No! Oh no! I'll just use this move on. If I live enough. Yeah, the, the game doesn't heal you for free. Yeah, this isn't Pokemon. No, we know current day Pokemon. Old Pokemon wouldn't heal you. Old Pokemon either. didn't heal you either, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna, but we're gonna heal right away. Hopefully, we have enough. So yeah, we no, are in the no second. No point in healing the village. Is what's so yeah, we are basically like in the second world of the game. This is Marble Land. Uh, the, the the thing about this uh, world essentially is that it's basically like a big tournament, and the goal is just to win tournament to find the other, you know, the other Devil Summoner, Devil, devil Children, Devil Child, <laughs> something yeah. like that. I actually know the plot now, so I can explain it. So apparently, this land has three tribes. So and oh, uh, each of them want to conquer the land. They want to be the ruler of the land. So they made this big tournament to decide who, who's the strongest. And uh, we also and the winner gets the this is a silver uh, Messiah's eye, which takes you to Sandland. So. Uh, we also sign up because we want the, the Messiah's Eye. We, have, we want nothing to do with the politics, we kind of just want the Messiah's Eye. And as soon as we get in, this demon Paimon, which is working under uh, the Demon Lord, I think, uh, immediately beats up our Griffin, so now we can't use it throughout the rest of the tournament. We're gonna have to use all our other demons. Uh, but before we even sign up to the tournament, we're gonna find a cure for uh, this situation with Veil, vale, which we end up not fighting, but we have to do this anyway for the sequence reasons. So we have to walk to one of the tribes, talk to one of the tribe leaders. Oh, I didn't. Use yeah. The... Unfortunately, you saw in the in the cutscene that Veil uh, vale was severely injured uh, during the cutscene, and so that means we. So first of all, I don't think you can use him in battle. Uh, mm -hmm. He's technically like fainted. Uh, but uh, also, you know, we have to manually walk through the dungeon now, and as you can see how slow that is, riding Bale would be much faster, but yeah. we cannot do that at this point in the game. I'd rather get the bad song than have to do this. <laughs> yeah. How far did we get fusions? We already have fusions. The fusion houses are around. Uh, yeah, uh, fusion but it's just that because There's the game is so here, generous so. and it because the game is so generous at just giving us three demons that are just hidden in various corners of the game, we already have demons that are high enough level to where we can just throw ice magatamas and you know stuff like that. Uh, so we don't need the fuse yet. So this is one of the tribal leaders. This is Visvishana, I think it's what it's normally call it has a different name in this game and he basically tells us that he can really help us there's another leader that can actually cure veil but it's just not worth it to go there because we have to walk around as you saw um so 11 health fire magatamas three of these these are wind magatamas 21 i don't have enough money for yeah so the three leaders are uh vipishana uh, britra and indra i don't exactly remember which one is which uh, this the, the green one that we just saw is Vispishana, the red one is Vitra, and the other one is Indra. It's yeah. white one. Alright, so now we just work back. Oh, there was also a girl that we talked to, if you notice. Um, she just tells us that we are stupid for following the Demon Lord's words and that we should mm -hmm. do something else. And, but we know, we, we'll, we'll deal with that later. Now we just sign in. So we talked to this little golem over there. Up yeah, so we're, the we're starting the tournament basically. Uh, route number one is uh, these uh, robots. Uh, I think they are called uh, Fight Golem uh, or something like that. Yeah. Uh, and we just Ooh, throw Magatamas. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so we just SMT tournament archive. Oh. <laughs> oh, a miss. That's right. Okay, I'm just gonna have to do it. Do it and do it. Nice. Alright, that's one. So we that was round number one. Yeah, 
think we can heal between rounds, or else this would be very tough. Yeah, it's not like, you know, a uh, Nocturne tournament or something, where you just fight like three fights back to back. Uh, let me put one here. Alright, now we're gonna start uh, fighting the tribe leaders, and we start to make the bishop shot, and we just ult it. They're all yep. weak to electricity, so thankfully we have an Agathion that has electricity attacks, and we have electri electric Magatama that we're just gonna throw. Yeah, Agathion has tier 2 magic, he has the Yonga, which is very nice. So as you can see, we're doing a lot of damage. So does the boss, though, because they're still quite high level. Alright. Nice. So that's one leader down. Now it's gonna be uh second one. I'm gonna be the exact same strat. Yeah, this game all the angels and big deities. Except for like the very, very big deity like a Michael and and that depends on the game too. Well, actually a Michael can also be a mech. Depends on the design. I was thinking of Michael in the Nikit's Firebook, which has like a human design, but he also has a mech design, so yeah. Most deities have this weird uh, mech-like design. Uh -huh. uh, so, and... This one, this one uh, really looks like uh, uh, the normal SMP design of MAGA to me, for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, he does actually know how say that. In Giga Break, strong attack. So as you can see, this game never got localized, that's why we're playing in Japanese, it's not just a, a random choice that we made. Um, yep. um, one hopefully... game's... Uh... No, go ahead. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say that uh, there are two games that did get localized, which are Light and Dark. You know, they got the Demikids name in here in, in, in the West. Uh, but the, these are the only ones that got localized, and none of the other Devil Children games did. And there's a lot of them, so yeah, you know, obviously this is Black and Red Book. Uh, there's White Book, uh, obviously Light and Dark, then Fire and Ice Books, and then there's Messiah Riser. Yeah, and of course, you, know, you, you cannot forget Plus in the Cult. <laughs> yeah, those are all the, the Devil Children games. So there's a, there's a lot of them. Uh, mm -hmm. Hopefully we'll get a fan patch of this game one day. So go pasture the translators on Twitter or something, because I would love to get a, an English translation of this that I could speedrun instead. Not so much because yes, it's only, any struggle. Yes, you're right. It's only in the US. Uh, Europe did not get any kind of Atlas localization at all for a long time. So for example, uh, Jack Bros uh, had US release, uh, Revelations the Demon Slayer, uh, you know, Danny Kids obviously. Uh, all of those were just US. Oh, Persona One as well. Can't forget that. And Eternal Punishment. Uh, I think the first, uh, the first uh, SMT game that, that was released in Europe was actually Nocturne under the name Lucifer's Call. But we got FIFA instead, so who? True. Who's better? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're off to the. Oh wait, wait, wait. This is the last one, right? That was intro. Yeah, I, I was so yep, distracted. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need yep. to go summon the Yuki on them. Okay, we're now level yeah, 11 yeah. in Fury. So. Yeah, we are now <laughs> high enough level and also the. Also. I Why do I have a Mizuchi? Why do I have a Mizuchi? Huh. Have I, you know, have I had a Mizuchi this entire time? I just noticed that. I, okay. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna put Yuki on the first. Uh, I don't really pay attention to words in this game because I don't know Japanese. <laughs> Alright, that's valid. Uh, this is the last fight of the tournament and we need to go summon uh, Yuki Onna, which is the one demon that we got at the start because we're finally high level enough to summon it. Uh, but I almost forgot because I was just so uh, engrossed in what we were saying. Yeah, so this is the main character of uh, Black Book. We actually found him finally. Uh, this is Setsuna. 
Uh, and his partner demon is... Uh, I forgot the name of it, but it's not out yet. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, so he currently has uh, Unicorn and uh, the... What is it? Salamander <laughs> weird, or weird Salamander guy. Yeah. And we need to kill Unicorn first because Unicorn has uh, Medea. He might use it if I don't kill him. Okay. Yep. That is indeed an excellent old Salamander fire guy. Yeah, so one very different thing from basically every other, you know, normal SMP routes uh, that you're gonna notice that we don't use buffs, we don't use Rakunda or anything. Even though Rakunda, you know, is just as good as it is in any other game, uh, with how much damage the enemies do it's just uh, you know you just don't really have the the time and and the, you know you, you just don't have the tempo to go for the buffs you know and that the the enemies are not that tanky enough to where you know you, you can just you can just you know kill them with uh, without Rakunda regularly yeah. it's not that bad there's other demi kids where we do go for buffs, like in, demi in the actual huh. demi kids games, so the the second generation devil children games. Those it's definitely worth it to go for Tarukaja, uh, Tarunda. Yeah, but in and this it's also one, just the way. It's also just the way uh, the demons you get are laid out. You know, the ones you get for free, uh, they just don't have the buffs on them. So. Yeah. We part. don't really do fusions in this game, we kind yeah, of just use the things yeah. that we're given. In the other Demi Kids games, we do fusions. They're just hard, it's fun to do. Simple as that. Mm. That being said, I might die to the last boss fight a couple of times, so we'll see. Maybe I shouldn't be speaking so fast. Yeah. yeah, the route is, uh, is kind of, you know, it, it likes to YOLO in some places. Yeah. Uh, it's sure. not exactly. It's not exactly a uh, consistent Safe. route, but uh, it, it, yeah, but it's fast, that's what counts. Alright, so uh, because we won the tournament, they tried to make us the leader of Marble Land, but we have other stuff to do, so we can't really be ruling Marble Land at all. So we choose one of the tribes to become the ruler, we actually choose Vispishana, not for any reason other than it being the first. And then one of the other tribe leaders wants to join us. We also choose the one on top, which is Vitra. So now we're gonna have Vitra. Uh, we can't use Vitra right away though, because Vitra is kind of high level. But um, yeah. Uh, and now Veil evolves. Yeah, and Veil evolved. Veil evolved into Death Veil, which um, is you know obviously a, a stronger version of Veil. And it, not only does it have a boost in stats, we're gonna be we're gonna be able to buy some new spells for Veil, vale. not right away in Sandland, which is the next area, but in Forestland, and those spells uh -huh. are really pretty nice. Yeah, so now, story-wise, we're like uh, trying to leave the Marble Land and go for Sandland. Unfortunately, there is one more thing we have to do right here. Yes. Um, so this, this is Paimon. Paimon. Yeah, what a familiar name. That was the Genshin Impact reference, by the way. Um, yeah, Cle clearly Genshin Impact uh, took a reference <laughs> from this game. <laughs> yeah, it looks just like the other one, right? <laughs> oh, there's Ramina! Okay, so Paimon is the demon that beat up Vel at the beginning of this area. And she's just still following the Demon Wars order, so we have to uh, get the Mixado because it's one of Yeah, she's definitely much easier fight compared to Setsuna. Yeah, and yeah, now we leave, I should we got on top of that, okay. And now we have the Messiah's Eye, so we just get right out of here. And yep, and now Sandland. we're in Sandland. I actually really like the music in Sandland, personally, it's my favorite one. The two seconds that we get to listen to it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we get on top of it. <laughs> Alright, so right away the first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna go over here to the virtual battler. There's this mode where you can uh, fight some pre pre-made fights, I guess I could call them. And we're gonna summon uh -huh. Hongbuk Chagama, who can inflict some damage and fight a doppelganger. Wait, is this one? Yeah, doppel- Wait, god damn it, I always choose the wrong option. A doppelganger, yes. Uh, the doppelganger obviously summons the same demon that we do, I use Dia for some reason. I always think that Zio is the second option, I don't know why I think that. 
Um, and because we, uh, she has exactly the same demon that we do, it's pretty easy to defeat. The good thing is that uh, we get a very strong Ichigo Cross as a reward, and we're gonna actually use this Ichigo Cross for like, the, the rest of the game. Yep, it, it, it's crazy how easy it is to get it. Alright, Ichigo Cross, there it is. I'm going to summon some there for the moment, I guess. Yeah, and we're gonna summon it to the very top of our party. It's gonna carry us a lot. Um, Ichigo Cross on. Okay, now I need to go over here to the shop. We're gonna buy a lot of items. Alright. Uh, some revival beads and uh, some more Magatamas, obviously, you know, that makes sense. But we're also gonna buy uh, a lot of life stones. Look at this amount 91. And you'd be surprised to find that many times I have to go and buy more. Because it's yep. still not enough. Yep, it's it's actually crazy. Right, now we Instead of buffs, you know. We use exactly lifestyle. Yeah, exactly. We use lifestyle. Alright, so as soon as we get here, we talk to Zed, who's this guy. He gives us a phone. Um, that we can connect to our computer so we can summon uh, demons from our phone now. And it tells us to go to the pyramid to talk to Isis because Isis knows where our father is. So we are off to go there. Yeah, I guess that's something we didn't mention before. But before we could only arrange our party like from a PC and basically, you know, what is, you know, basically like equivalent to, you know, a Pokemon Center basically. Uh, but now we can do it from anywhere. And now we're gonna stop by this shop right here. Oh, we're now right in front of the shop. And buy also a lot of the stone items. Yep. Now we should be good to go. Don't really have to worry. Uh, do, do you not buy angel wings as well? I already bought them. Okay, okay. And now we have to talk to this graveyard because uh, this is actually our mother. We don't really recognize her though, which is kinda sad. But we talk to her and she tells us some stuff and to go talk to Isis. Talking to Isis is the most important part because Isis has the next, uh, in theory, she has the next Messiah ride and she should know more stuff. And so yep. we go. And actually, the way of getting through this area is very different between the two, game, the two games because Veil can fly above most traps, whereas Cool has to actually walk around in them. Yeah, that's uh, one of the weird things. So, for example, like if you play Red Book first before Black Book, uh, in the very first, you know, area in the Iceland, you might come across the the puzzle in the cave, and and you would be like, "How is this even a puzzle?" You know, you, you just get on top of Bale, and it, it's not <laughs> even a puzzle anymore. Yeah, yeah exactly. The the, re the reason why that's a thing is because you cannot do the same in. Uh, Black Book. So in Black Book, you actually do need to, uh, to do the puzzle. So it does, with... it, it does make sense in the end. The problem with the stone in this game is that uh, as soon as it wears out, you get a pop up, kind of like Repels in Pokemon, if we're gonna oh. compare it to Pokemon. Um, but um, as soon as they as they wear out, you can get an encounter on the very same tile. So I have to. Yeah, which is cast. very, very stupid. Yeah, it's rough. Especially later into the game, there's just there's some fights that if you get an encounter, it'll take you forever to be able to leave. Basically, yep. at this point, you always need to at least try to escape three times before you actually su successfully escape, which is the same in many games like in Dragon Quest and, and whatnot. But there's a chance that these demons will just wipe your entire party before you can even escape. So now we're at yeah, the pyramid. Just like it's like any random encounter in SMT games. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here at the pyramid, we have to talk to these little ghosts. These are actual demons, but I forget their names, so we're gonna call them little ghosts. Um, 
because they have some stamps that they tell us that we need to fill out uh, before we can talk to Isis. So that's what we're going to be doing. We have to do it in certain order, which is why I'm walking around like crazy. And again, these... Yeah, it, um, it's basically like a, a, a puzzle. So. Well, yeah, it is a, yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's like a puzzle, but we kind of just fly over the puzzle. As you can see, the, the moving sands don't really affect us at all. We can just fly over everything. But we fall anyway, even though we're flying. Yeah, which is very funny. Alright, this is the last one, and then we have a fight for So we came to fight Isis. Uh, there's a couple fights before it first. Uh, it's these two demons right here. Yes. This wind frag is actually the very first wind frag from the beginning of the game. It works under this guy, who's called uh, Chris Velger. Uh, which is the demon that apparently is in a lot of games because I, I didn't remember it at all and then as soon as I talk about him people are like oh it's in DDS1 in SMT if and in Devil Summoner and no I just don't remember him at all yeah if you speed run digital Devil Saga 1 you're very familiar with Chris Vulgar you eat like 50 of them in the run <laughs> yeah so this is the flying rat guy the wind frag yeah um, frag very easy fight and then there's this French vulgar. See, people in chat even know how to spell it. And I was like, who's this guy? <laughs> yep. So for him, we're just using Electricity Magatamas and Mahazan as well. Huh. Very cool thing about uh, this game with the auto battle is that uh, it remembers your auto from, like, basically the previous fight. So. Uh, we use the strat on Windfrag, and then we can just auto for this fight as well, and it's gonna repeat the same action. We don't have to do menu. It... No, unless of course um, our demons die, in which case we do need to do that. Okay, hmm, this guy just doesn't want to die. We only have to use so many revival beams. Yeah, we have a lot of revival beams. We have a lot of life stones. There we it, go. It, healing is fine. I'm not worried about healing, but it's still, it's still a little work. Uh, yeah, we're alright. We're fine. No problem. Setsuna is here too. He's looking for his brother. The whole point, the whole plot in his game, is that his brother got kidnapped by Jack Frost. So he came to Makai to look for him. Um, and he's looking for his brother here in, at the tree because he heard that he was here, but doesn't find him and leaves. And guess who we're just gonna see right away? <laughs> as soon as we get to Isis, there's his brother. Uh, let me see if he's going to yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of uh, the demon menu here with the HP and MP because it's all so together. It's kind of hard to, you know, figure yeah. out. Yeah, you're the, right. The actual it's actually role, actual... It's so easy. I tell you, uh, it's so hard to to read while it's in that screen. Yeah. It should, like highlight each demon or something. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. This is Naga Nagahisa. Nagahisa is his brother, as you can tell. They kind of look alike. He's very upset, and he leaves immediately. He doesn't even say hi to us. He just found out that he's an angel child, which is kind of the opposite of a devil child. They have the power of the angels, and the yeah. angels are telling him very uh, bad, bad stuff, very, very discriminatory stuff. So he's very upset at the devil children. So he doesn't even talk to us. But then Isis is here, and Isis wants to fight, so we fight Isis. And Isis yeah, kind of just wants to fight for fun. She's just like, let's fight. I'm like, okay. Yeah, so because Bale evolved, uh, he has Ma Mahazan that we already used on the previous two fights. Mahazan does quite a bit of damage, uh, unless it misses, of course, like here. Yeah. I have no food. No, yeah, I still I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I can only use the uh, Magatamas now. Uh, oh, there's a. Yeah. Thankfully, the demons don't actually level up in this game, because if not, because if they did, it'd be very stressful having to keep them alive all the time. Um, uh -huh. Or rather, they level up, but the only way they level up is by fusing other demons into them, not yeah. by fighting. Yeah, but most fusions work uh, kind of similar to how. Uh, uh, I guess the Mitama fusions work in uh, like uh, Nocturne or something where you know you're basically you know the fusion is basically just feeding a demon into another demon essentially yeah. to make them stronger. 
so the only one who levels up when you win the fight is the protagonist. And as mm -hmm. we get a higher level, we can summon higher level things, as we mentioned before. And here we're learning yeah. that the things that we're collecting, the... Let me just... Uh, the... Uh, Messiah's eyes can be put together with the Messiah horns, which is the thing that Setsuna is collecting, the other protagonist. Um, to make the keys, the Messiah keys, and we're gonna need to do that later. But for now, we're just gonna talk to the dead, and then we're gonna go to the casino. Yeah, we're gonna go gambling, because this is a children's game, and gambling yeah. is, you know, very good for aid ratings. <laughs> yeah. Pokemon can do it, so can we. Yep. That's all I was not. I found about 20 coins. I'm gonna save it. Yeah, we're gonna gamble guy. only with 20 coins. You might think, wait, only 20 coins? What? what? That's nothing. Uh, we're gonna save the game, uh, and then... Uh, we're gonna click this button, which is uh, Rienciar Yogo, or whatever it said. Yogo? <laughs> Jogo, come on. <laughs> okay, sorry. What kind of pronunciation is that, calling the, the J U? That's the Lithuanian pronunciation. Yeah, so we reset the game, because this game, at least the PS1 version, actually has RNG money. Um, at least, at least for the casino, we don't know if it has it for anything else, but for the casino, it does. And we can actually have guaranteed gambling right now for a lot of money. As long as I choose the right options. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna put our 20 coins. We're gonna play a game called Big or Small, um, where we have to guess if the next number is bigger or smaller. It's simple as it gets. Yes, but... and we are, we are very good at guessing. Yeah, we're very good at guessing. And we just bet everything. We just go all in on everything. And every time you win, your numbers get multiplied by two. Yep, you get double. I lost count. Okay. <laughs> I was like, which one yeah, is so this one? We are already at 10,000 from our 20 coins. Now we're at 20,000. All right, and we won. There we go. We we're, we have eighty one thousand coins from our twenty, and now we can buy a lot of stuff from the casino yeah. rewards. This is the rewards. Uh, we're buying mostly uh, demons, so we're buying you know mysterious red strangers uh, uh, and potions and all the other demons. Oh yeah, isn't gambling not allowed on Twitch now? <laughs> this isn't gambling. This is just uh, a game of chance. What they call them, but yeah, we're we're buying uh, these uh, demons called uh, red capes. If it's translated, it, it, it's not gambling if it's rigged. That's right. That's right. It's not gambling if it's guaranteed. Uh, we're gonna buy around ten of these. I think I bought ten of these. I completely lost count. And we're also gonna buy eleven of these potions. These are slightly stronger, level twenty six. So we're gonna only be able to summon them very late game. And then all the other demons underneath are also demons that we can get, but we just don't get nearly high level enough to be able to summon them, so... But the, the one right below this one is Persona, so I think everyone in chat would love to know what Persona looks like in Devil Children, so I'll, I'll show. It's this guy, it's this Persona. We <laughs> <laughs> don't Persona though. And we'll need to buy two more. These are uh, full revival items, so I bought a bunch of those, and off we go. Yeah, it's Balm of Lives. And now we're on to the next main area, which is Forest Land. Forest Land is, I would say, I would say it has like the most uh, RNG fights, maybe. Yeah, except for the last one. Yeah. For sure. I love this one. This one's cool. Yeah, I, I personally prefer uh, the the desert uh, theme, but this one is also really good. I actually don't like the the Senran theme a lot. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> it's just better to listen to than this same song the entire time. But it's yeah, a bit true, fun. true. All right, so as soon as we get here, what? Uh, no, 
whatever. <laughs> no, I want to see what he wants to say about the house. Yeah, okay, I, I, I was gonna say these houses remind me of the penguin village from like uh, you know Dragon Ball and the Doctor Slump uh, things. You're right. No, to say that they actually kind of look similar. Uh, but yeah, so as soon as we get here, we talk to Belial, who is kind of the ruler of this world, you could say. And this girl, apparently, she just orders him around, and immediately asks for a, a golden pie. Uh, and Belai is like, oh, I don't know how to make a pie, can you go grab me the ingredients and this rock, which is the demon that can uh, make the pie. <laughs> so that's our that's our, our uh, quest for this land, is to make a pie. But before that, I'm gonna have to summon... Well, this rock's already summoned, so I don't have to summon him. I'm gonna have to summon all of the uh, Akamantos, which are the demons that I bought like a billion of. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave this rock summons some of you. I think I got some of you. But whatever. Very too many Yeah, um, one very cool thing about uh, about the casino reward demons is that they actually come at a good level. Unlike, you know, for example, again, if we, if you compare it to like Pokemon Casino, I think everything you get there is like level five. You know, the, the rare, you know, the rare Pokemon, they're good ones, but they're level 5, so... Wouldn't do anything for a run, unlike this game. Alright, so off we go. Do... There's like three fights in this area, and each of them hold one of the high ingredients. So mm -hmm. we are going... I think, you can do them in, I think you can do them in any order, but yes. we do it in this one. We just kind of... Yeah, I, I just kind of chose an order. Really. Mm -hmm. We have to collect some items, but we don't even use them for this, these fights, so it's yeah. not like it matters too much. Mm -hmm. oh, God, so Veil really knows a move, uh, what, Veil now knows a move called uh, Death Rush, which is pretty good. This is quite a bit of damage. Yeah, uh, Death Rush is another one of those special spells that consume uh, HP instead of MP. So the main strategy now is going to books. He's going to be um, using Death Rush and then healing up Veil well with any of the, any of the other demons that are present in the fight. Because well, before we get killed in the process. Yeah, this is exactly why we bought a bunch of you know Balm of Lives and uh, Life Stones specifically because the strat is to use Kill Rush uh, and then. Uh, Heal. Uh, physical moves use HP instead of MP in this game, uh, like it does in most of them. Uh, oh, nice miss. Uh, yeah, so that's basically you know, the strat. Ooh, look at that, the one HP. Also, remind me that I need some Vitro, because I forgot some Vitro. And I'm not sure I have that many Hellfire Magatamas. And I'm gonna, so I'm probably gonna have to use Beatrice Aguilal to kill that last one. Okay, this one's dead. Very good fight. I'm gonna do that right away, actually. Yeah. Uh, where's Beatrice? Oh, that's right, he's a king. So, uh, there's different ranks in demons. And these big ones are called the uh, king rank demons, so yep. they can't be summoned to the normal level either. They have to be in the uh, king either. Okay, to the top. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah. So that was Nid Hogger, whatever you uh, pronounce it. Uh, and then the next one is Crom Crouch. We have some names, yeah. <laughs> I'd never seen this one. And when we look, when you look it up on Megaton Wiki, the picture that shows yeah, up is from the Devil Children's Guidebook. So it's probably exclusive to this game. Only actually see. Crom uh, Crouch. By the way, these... It is in Persona 1 as well. It is in Persona 1 as well, apparently. Okay. Well, why didn't they use the Persona 1 thing? 
<laughs> so we are always guaranteed to have encounters on those two tiles, which is why I bought Smoke Bomb. So I can put those two. Yep. No, I'm gonna two. They're basically like, uh, you know, trap tiles, uh, but uh, you cannot avoid them. They, they sure trap you then. Right. So yeah, this fight is going to be the exact same strat as uh, the last one. Yeah. I can probably just auto. I think I didn't have- I didn't change it, so. There's Crown Crouch. Well, you changed up your, you know, Britra and everything, so I don't know. That's right. Yeah, that didn't work. Oh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, didn't work so. at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. Changing up your party. Is uh, is messing good with the auto. Nice Moragi. These Moragis can be a little rough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this one is very tanky compared to the last one. Lost the game audio. Oh, you're right. Oh, what the hell? Oh. Um. My capture card is like, enough of this music. I can't put up with this anymore. Alright, give me a second. It's back. There we go. Uh, it's back? Yeah, I can see the capture. Yeah. <laughs> That's so weird, <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> the, game, the, the capture card was just like, no more. Thank you for pointing it out though, because I would not, never have noticed. Yeah. And I assume everyone appreciated a moment of silence, but... You'd be missing out on some intense songs later into the game. <laughs> totally first game, I agree. Yeah, oh. he used a, a silence a status effect on, on the game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Alright, um... This fight's not going... It's going, you know, like... It's okay, it's not going great, but it's fine. Veil hasn't died, so it's fine. When Veil dies... As long as Veil doesn't a... die, it's fine. Yeah. Like... It's just that you, you lose a lot of momentum when Veil dies. Yeah, it's does the only damage. really bad. So now we're actually gonna do fusions. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Uh, We're gonna do Veil Fusions, uh, and Veil Fusions, the way they work is, just like I said before, you're, ju you're just feeding a demon to make Veil stronger. Yes. So we're gonna, that's just why we got so many of those red capes, we're gonna feed three or two, depending on our level, which I don't know which it is right now. Uh, we're gonna feed at least two of these red capes into Veil. We can try. Which makes a difference for the next fight, because any HP increase yes. against the next guy is good. Okay, let's see if I can get another. Yes. Awesome. Nice. Cool. I'm also gonna use these guys instead of these guys. These are just instances. Now I'm going to summon the rest of the red capes. Yeah, I got way too many with it. <laughs> Why did I get so many? You're just full of red capes. You really like those mysterious red strangers. Yeah, yeah. It's a reference to SMT1. Alright, off to the last one. I'm not sure how many health I have, so I'm just gonna have two hope I have enough. I know I, was, I used a lot of it, Isis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the last demon we have to fight is Dahaka. Okay, thankfully I didn't get any counter there. Which this one is for sure exclusive to Devil Children, I don't know that much. It, or is it? I actually, I'm, now I'm actually... I don't think so, actually. I'll look it up. 
Okay, it is an SMP if and margin density too. Yeah, that's right. It's actually a fighting if. It's it, I think it's from Akira. Right? Oh, okay, okay. It's an attack item that I'm going to have to use later. Alright, so this fight is using a different strat compared to the other one. Okay. This one is uh, fire. Yes. I have aid. Okay, I'll be fine. I have aid. I'll fire my other So this guy resists the physical attack or force attack that Veil has. So. Yeah, so this is, you can see from the damage why we needed to uh, uh, fuse uh, some demons into Veil. This would have one shot if we didn't do that. But Veil just survived it enough uh, to live it. Oh, now it's dead. There you go. Good fight. There we go. Very good. Alright, now we got all the ingredients. And here's the thing. We also need a demon to make the pie. This happens to be a demon that we actually get right at the start, but if we didn't, that'd be one ne right next to the, the house that would join us. Mm -hmm. So we talked to Belial again, and he's like, yeah, thanks for doing that, now we fight, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, he's like, oh, thanks for making the pie. This is the cook, by the way, this demon makes the pie. He's like, oh awesome, I'm so glad I have the pie. Unfortunately, I just remembered that I actually got some orders from the demon ward. Uh, because, you know, <laughs> you betrayed his action, so I'm gonna have to kill you. But thanks for the pie. Classic, classic betrayal. So, he's the same strat as uh, Nidhogger and Chrome Crouch, where uh, we're gonna just uh, use Kill Rush on him a bunch of times. Um, until Veil dies. When the Veil dies, we're gonna swap the ice instead. Uh, but ideally, you know, that's not gonna happen and he's just gonna yeah. die fast. It's always faster dodge. to use Death Rush, but um, he's weak enough that we, it's slower to actually have to revive Veil and resummon him than just yep. using random magic spells uh, after Yeah, Veil especially dies. because uh, when Veil dies eventually, he's already quite low on HP. Yeah. This looking okay. there we go, very clean fight. Very yeah. Alright. Almost done with forest line. Yep, there's one more fight. We just got the green uh, no actually the green eye is the one that we get. I forget which is the next eye. Well it's the the next Messiah eye, we just got it. And we try to leave, but we actually get stopped by that one girl. Uh, that's been annoying us the entire time. And Raphael, who's obviously one of the angels. Uh, she's on the side of the angels, even though she's not an angel. She tells us that she's the daughter of the demon lord. Um, but she disagrees with everything that uh, the demon lord is doing, so... It's not interesting. Yeah, she so we're fighting her. She has, uh, she has Gorgon and Asmodeus. Uh, quite strong demons. Uh, the strat is, you know, again, kill rush. Very good skill. Yeah. But instead of just healing Veil, we're actually gonna use some attack items that I picked up along the way. Uh, so if Veil dies, it's gonna go over. I'm just gonna go for it. Uh -huh. There you go. Oh, Veil died. Oh, missed. Ooh. Oh, that guy is almost dead. I'm going to use some Aguilau and use the other attack item that I have. Yeah, luckily this fight doesn't have any follow-ups, it's just these two demons and that's it. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, so close to dying. Oh, come on, everyone oh, is missing wow. out. They're yeah. not even trying. Yeah, no, no Sukukajas or anything, obviously. <laughs> of course they had to mention Sukukaja. We don't even use Sukukaja in like SMT1 or SMT2, I don't want a devil children. Alright, I'll just okay. That one's dead. There you go. There we go. Good enough. Yeah. <laughs> good enough is a good word for this. <laughs> okay, here's Raphael. 
who was like, okay, let's let's leave this. We're, we'll face you some other time. Yeah, Raphael is quite handsome in this game. I guess, as far as angels go. <laughs> And yeah, he also let us know that there's a big fight between angels and demons and that the angels want to make the Armageddon or something like that. And if we... Is it the Armageddon? Yeah, it's, it is Armageddon. So if you want to stop them, we're gonna have to fight the problem. And off we go to the next one. Yeah, for now we're in Earthland. Earthland. Yeah, we're in Earth. It's not Earthland, it's like Earth. We're back home. <laughs> yes. For now. Yeah, for now. We actually wake up here because a demon just started popping up out of nowhere on Earth. So we're gonna try and figure out what's happening. So we're gonna head straight to school, as any good child does. Stay in school, kids. If I healed yet? I think I did. I think I killed before I left. Oh, I gotta talk to the, the classroom door. I always forget to do that. So, we we gotta talk to the kids here, and immediately they, we sense that there's something going on with this uh, classroom. It's actually, it's actually set to this classroom, it's not ours. And then we head to the rooftop, and the school director gives us a key so we can actually enter and find whoever is there. It seems like the school is being populated by snow ghosts. And the snow goes somewhere uh -huh. any of the kids live, so we're gonna have to go and fight them. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, okay. So we're gonna yeah, fight so three is, snow ghosts. And yeah, this is the the nine-tailed fox from Naruto. <laughs> Very cool design. One of my favorite ones in the game, personally. Uh, yeah, so these snow ghosts. Uh, you know, once again, death rush. Yeah, most of the most of the fights in this in, in on Earth are gonna just be death rush and, and heal. Very good skill. Very good skill. It's it's multi hit physical. You know, that's that's good in a lot of SMT games. You already the, saw that in some games with. You this know, is the scratch you know, dance of death rush. Yep. Yeah. So now we kill the ghost, and now there's the kitsune. Which does actual real damage. We killed the yep. ghost. And also really tanky. Yeah, luckily life stones are busted in this game. They're, they're, you know, usually life stones are like terrible healing items. In this one, they are really good. Yeah, it's because these aren't like normal life stones. The normal life stones are bad. These are like. Uh, life pieces or something like that, so they heal a lot more. Yeah, yeah, it's HP. Okay, almost there. Marine Kareen, British. Marine Kareen also has charm in this, it just inflicts charm in this game, and charm is exa exactly as bad as in other, other games, we started hitting ourselves. So, thankfully it always seems to miss, I don't think I've ever had a Marine Kareen hit. Alright, we are out of here. And this fox actually says that they're not bad at all, they were just thrown into this mess and tells us that um, the real perpetrators for demons coming out of nowhere are uh, some guy who's summoning demons at the arcade. So we go to the arcade. It's this one over here. Kinda looks like Nakajima. Okay, maybe it's a, a uh, Megami Tensei 1 reference. He's actually a snow ghost though, so... It's not a snow ghost, it's, a, it's an other type of ghost. There we go. Alright, 
and after fighting this one we have to stop the demons in the computer from actually showing up and closing and close the portal so we don't fight them. Fun fact about this game, there's always these cutscenes and it seems like every cutscene it's a different button to skip them so I have to just start mashing every button randomly to skip them. <laughs> Some it's start, yeah, the other is X, the other is it's a square, like I don't I don't get it. But whatever. Yeah, okay, it's it's very good. Yeah, so now there's two of them. The same yeah, and then there's the Kuryoka, which is actually strong. These are weak. But there he is. It's scary here, it looks like a bottle one. Oh, why did he oh, heal yeah, the wrong uh, one? He really does. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's a Okay, build Oh the tree is not healed. Oh that's bad. Okay, I'm just gonna have to try and uh provide or yeah, I, I'm gonna attack, but I'm gonna try and Vitro uh, might die. Don't kill it. Okay. Okay, Vitro is alive, but um I think you try to attack and you try to kill yourself. Probably both of them, Knowing this game. Yeah. Alright. Now I'm just, sorry, I'm just gonna try and summon the... Yeah, this is kinda sketched. Alright, that was alive. This is Mudo, by the way. That's what they're using. Uh, mm -hmm. Devil Children were the first games where they actually uh, made the light and dark spells deal damage as well, have an instant kill chance. You barely ever see these skills instant kill, but uh, they, they're good as yep. spells that... The instant kill damage. chance is very low, you know, this game this game doesn't have like, difficulty modes, consistency games, um, so you know... It's not, it's not like it's a hard mode, you know, where it's all increased in the kill chances. Yeah, the normal instant kill chance is just like that. Man, he's missing a lot. It's not going very well. I'm not sure how many I come onto that, but I'm dying on it. Oh, don't worry, there's still, there's still a lot to come. We still have like three more. Yeah, there's, there's a good bit of one left. Depending on how many times I died to the last fight, there might still be a lot to go. <laughs> yeah, I think this is my last Akaman, so I might have to kill off a little bit. Or do I just go for it? He's almost dead. Yeah, he's, he's almost dead. dead, I would go for it. No, I shouldn't have gone for it. Okay, I'm gonna just have to try and revive Bale. This is task number one. Is alive. In fact, I even wasted one of these. Nice. I'm just gonna use the younger. I don't Death think breath! Oh Ooh. lord. Ooh, that's an AoE skill. That's fine. We are, we're good. Unless he does yeah, death breath bail. again. We have bail now. There we go. Didn't miss. Very good. Thank you so much, Shirohari. I appreciate it. We we survived. I think it's because of the good vibes. We got here right on time. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna revive everyone. Uh let's see. I might use the revival beads just so I can not pay as much. That took every of my demons. Yep. Thank you. Actually have money. Alright, one more fight in this area. So the demon portal has been closed, so there's actually no more uh, demons outside, at least in this area. But we still have to go to the park, and there's encounters there. The, uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. the parks are completely frozen, but we can just fly over the frozen area, and we have to go meet uh, Nagahisa. And I think Setsun is calling now. Yeah, he's just like, oh, I'm in the Fireland or something. Like that. Uh -huh. Alright, here's Nagahisa, we're gonna fight him. 
he's like, oh, I'm gonna side with the angels because I believe in what the angels want to do. The world is full of suffering and they want to clean, uh, in sin, in sin, this is sin. And we want to clean the world of sin uh, by conducting the Armageddon, which will, well, I think the name. Implies, but it will do. And we're like, yep. let's not do that. And then we have to fight. Yeah. So once again, starting off with as a day as a demo Gordon. Oh my god. My Same strat, kill rush. I don't think they even got stronger since the last fight. I think they did the exact same. But then there's this. There's Sphinx. No, a third demon. Oh, the stream died. Uh, uh, I think it's change. coming back. I think it's coming back. I think my internet went down. Okay. Give me a second. I think it dipped. Yeah, yes, I think my internet went down. Thank okay, you, internet, it, it for giving me a second long. so I could drink some water. I appreciate it. Yeah, I saw it crash. Let's just hope that doesn't happen for Soul Hackers. Well, thankfully this one was not go good enough that I could like have a world record or anything. Okay, I think we're good. It seems like it's good, at least on my end. Now I don't know what to do. I'm like, okay, I need to revive a veil, revive veil, and fill up Shido Frost. And the Shido Frost side. Yeah, there are very there are many unique demons in this game. Yeah, some designs are really good, and some designs are you know interesting choices for a children game. <laughs> for example, if you look at if you look at uh, you know Succubus and Incubus designs in this movie, yeah, they're very PG, they look... obviously. <laughs> they wouldn't make like the Incubus and Succubus design from the other games. Riot E10. Oh, uh, the question. Um, so the main characters are devil children, and because they're devil children, they have the power to control demons with the the guns. They get a, they get a gun. That's what lets them summon the demons. But they have special powers. They just they make them kind of vague. They just say they're special powers. Uh -huh. And oh, I think I, it's only I, the, I think it's only the children that are you know uh, that are like half uh, half demon half human. Uh, yes. And also the, yeah. the angel children, like Nagahisa is an angel oh, child, yeah, so yeah. he also has powers to control these. Mm. Alright, so it's actually good that it cut off during that fight, because that fight didn't go well at all. <laughs> Nobody had to see that. <laughs> it was good enough, honestly. And now, uh, now Veil we have evolves. Further evolution in Veil. Yeah, it evolves into Hell Veil. And I think I'm gonna heal in Fire Lion. They get a gun like Persona using Persona 3. Yes, this is actually uh, where Persona 3 got the inspiration. It's more similar to Devil Summoner, actually, not to uh, Persona 3, I would say. Where you you know you just you just shoot a demon out of its gun for some reason. Okay, that's true. We are gonna get. But while in real Devil Summoner, not everyone has a gun comp. That's the, the these new new age kids with their soul hacker suits that. Where everyone has a uh, gun. Is that not a thing in the regular soul hackers? It's in the first one. It is the protagonist has a gun comp because that's okay. the one he happens to have. But most others just have different type of comps. Like everyone has a, a different one. Okay, I see. Uh, now I'm gonna get Hell Rush and Hell Buster. These are the new spells that we can buy for Hell Veil. Again, we just evolved, and then we're gonna go over here to the casino because we still have a lot of. Uh, money and when buy just some revival items, but that's not the only reason why I came here. I came here to buy two diamonds. These are just items that we can get with casino coins. I guess I didn't predict that someone would manipulate the casino and get a ton of coins. Yep. And these diamonds sell for a uh, hundred K each. 
and we actually need 100k to proceed with the story. There's a story event that, that needs you to have a lot of money. So, good thing these are here. Because if we had to farm that much money, we would be in trouble. Alright, off we go. Yeah, so there's just one fight we need to do here. Which is Raphael. Yeah, that same Raphael that was talking shit earlier. He is actually gonna follow up on it. Gump. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> I like that name. And then see person. It's uns they are all unskippable cutscenes, so we are forced to see them. Yep. Alright, so go for here. This game is not bad with cutscenes though. The cutscenes are definitely uh, very fast and there's not a lot of them. It's not as yeah, bad as fine. some other rest of the games. The text though is way slower on the Game Boy Color version. The, the Game Boy version is just overall way less speed on friendly than this one. Yeah, the instant text in this one and the auto mashing is very nice. Yeah. Alright, so this is Mamon, uh, the same Mamon that we saw for Megami Tensei 2 yesterday, uh, but we're not gonna fight him. He just says that he used to be a friend of our father and remembers seeing us as an infant, and that uh, where our father is actually at the uh, Dark Palace, which is the first place that we went to. Uh, mm -hmm. And then asks for 100k to give us some more info, so we give him the info, and then we leave. And we're just gonna transfer back to the beginning. And as soon as we get to the city, we find out that it's destroyed because the angels came here. And they're like, we're gonna show our true power. This was a city full of sins, so we're gonna destroy it. And that's because th just everyone in this town loves to gamble. So they're like, oh, this is a s city sinful with greed, so we're gonna destroy it. Yeah. And it did. Uh, no, this game, this game came out after Soul Hackers. The original Soul Hackers for Saturn came out in 1997, and this game for Game Boy Color came out in 2000. Yes. But the original GBA Red Book. Not GBA, GBC Red Book came out in like 95. It was around the same year. No, no, it's 2000. It, it, the Game Boy Color version was 2000. And oh, was it really? Was yeah, and then oh, PS1 version sorry. was 2002. Not bad, I didn't hear. Alright, so for this fight, we're not gonna use Hell Rush, we're actually gonna use Hell Buster. That's because it's better to kill them one at a time than to use. Uh, Hell Rush, which hits them randomly, and then after we kill one of them, we can actually switch to Hell Rush, which deals, which hits four times instead of really two times, like uh, Hell Buster. Actually, no, Hell Buster mm -hmm. hits four times. Never mind. I'm thinking of King. King Buster only hits two times, so we just stick to to Hell Buster. It's fine. Yeah. So Hell Buster is a good upgrade over Kill Rush, but. You know, these, this fight is kind of hard, so it might not <laughs> seem like a big upgrade. I think he didn't come down, but I think he had this. <laughs> nice miss. Alright, we're fine. Oh, I forgot to stop hard. Stopping auto is kind of weird in this game, you need to like, uh, hold the button, otherwise it just straight up doesn't work. Alright, so they were just like, oh, we'll meet in the final battle, go back to Central Land, which is where the Dark Path of Palace is, it's like the very first place we went to, and go yeah, and so meet we, the Demon we learned, Lord. We learned where our father is, I think. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a huge, huge word though. They're like, you are actually the daughter of Lucifer, and I'm the daughter of Azal, who yep. uh, is the current demon lord because uh, the current demon lord is pretending to be your, fa your father. He's not actually the real demon lord because the real demon lord is someone nice that everyone liked, but then he uh, stole the power. He, she just says like everything. And it's like, now go to Central and yeah, confirm big, everything I said. There, there's, a big, uh, there's a big kind of like plot. I don't know if plot twist is the right word, but. <laughs> it's a uh, plot dump, a that's plot what it point. is. Yeah. yeah. And now I'm going to heal over here. Alright, heal everyone. And now we get prepared for the last fight. Well, it's not the last fight, the. Yeah, I was gonna say, wait, <laughs> last fight? Uh, a second to last one. Uh, so we're going to fight Azul, the Demon Lord. Uh, the so I guess, one thing, I, I guess one thing you should also kind of talk about is the true ending, because I personally don't know anything. I, I don't even know how to get the normal ending. Um, it's dialogue options at the end. So do we okay. there's f uh, four endings, three endings in this game. Yeah, there's three endings. So, but all of them have to do this fight. So I'll explain the essence of this fight. So this is the true demon lord, Azul. Um, what? And Dark Strategy is going to be Hell Rush and uh, Heal. And this phase 1 is not, usually not too bad, but um, the second phase is pretty tough. And we have to go from one to the other right away, so we might have to actually uh, die on purpose, because yeah. the game is kind enough to jump us straight to the second phase if we die. And mm -hmm. like that, we have we can do the fight with everyone in our party alive. Yeah, the phase one is just tanky, but uh, he also doesn't really do anything. Yeah, but I'm gonna see if I can do them back to back because it's obviously faster. It will mm -hmm. depend on how many yeah. demons are alive, but I'll still try. Sometimes you get lucky. If he keeps doing that, that's not ideal. <laughs> They will getting hit and die. Well, no, he keeps killing all our enemies. Alright, let's see. Ooh, Dark Spear. Oh, this is not the bad one, okay. Light Spear is very bad, the Dark Spear is fine. I always miss him up. Okay, now I'm gonna heal up this one get away. Perfect. Okay, oh, this is not good. Uh, it'd be so good if we got healed oh, he'll before. Live. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Not perfect. Uh -huh. I'm basically guaranteed to have Veil die on the first hit. But whatever. Okay. We can take this. So yeah, yeah technically phase two is the same strat, but obviously this is way scarier. Okay, so it's actually kind of nice. Fine. Oh, nice dodge. Okay, that's good. As long as he hits a veil with a not so strong attack. If he's too yeah, strong, that's bad. When he doesn't crit and, and yeah, and we can heal, that's perfect. And then immediately he crits. Immediately he crits. Alright. Wow. <laughs> I had to open my mouth. You jinx it. Yep. I think we might. Be able to maybe. Yeah, if he one sh if he one shots all the Akamans, it's gonna be great. But uh -huh. I'm gonna keep trying to summon uh, Veil so he can actually do something. Okay, that's good. Good turn. Uh, I'll rush. Yeah, 
Yeah, so you can see how tanky he is. I might, I might actually use it in attack up. With my attack up. Yeah, attack up sword is, uh, is basically a Tarukaja, right? I might have sold them because I was allowed of money. Oh. I might have to go and yeah. buy them again. If I die, I die. It's fine. I'll just do it again. Hmm. I mean, you're you're not out of it yet. I would say. my last steam I'm not sure but it might be. look at all these misses uh, oh my yeah, god no Sukukaja. stop mentioning Sukukaja <laughs> I'm just too used to playing games where no Sukukaja yeah. is a suicide yeah unless he miraculously misses I'm gonna die yeah oh now Bill's dead yep that's it Okay. Hopefully, uh, Are you gonna buy the attack capsules? I might see if they have them here. <laughs> I think it's worth it. Uh -huh. It's definitely not worth it to go to Iceland and buy them, but yeah, yeah. they stock them here, I, I might as well. Well, I tried, but okay. usually the the safest way is really to just die on purpose and redo the fight with the full party. Uh. -huh. uh but I don't know if they have it. Is there a second shop? Casino! No. No tech capsules. We're just gonna have to do this. Yeah. Long. That's fine. We are now at full HP, fully healed going into this fight, unlike the last time where we just went straight from phase one. I'm just, I'm just checking if I was actually fully healed. <laughs> Attempt number two. As you can see, straight to phase two. I hope he's nice. And what a start. Wow. Oh, what crit! Oh my god, that's oh. so bad. Oh, that's so bad. Very unlucky crit. At least, uh, at least to my knowledge, I don't think uh, he has any AoE moves, so that's good at least. He does. He, oh, he does. does have AoE moves? <laughs> <laughs> but he's just not been using them, thankfully. Um... Okay, we actually got very loud already. That's Nice Rock, so obviously he can't really. He can't survive it ever. <laughs> oh, come on, though, you need to hit the enemy. Or else we'll be here forever. Okay, that's fine. If he always used Aguilal on the veil, and we got the heal, that'd be perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's the best case scenario, pretty much. Yeah. If he uses his. I'll give out one the other game and not so good. <sighs> yeah, I'm really getting some of the misses. Oof. At least we had enough HP to, to do this uh, yeah. hell rush. 
Ooh, up speed. Up speed is really strong against the his oh, very light uh with light type. Oh we'll get a Chico Fast again. <laughs> Revive the Chico Fast just for this moment. <laughs> hey. Back from the early game. And crit! Chico Fast Ooh. couldn't do anything. Okay, low HP. You know what I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna Yeah. In case he still gets hit. Okay, Bale didn't get hit. Yeah, obviously Cyber didn't do anything. Ooh, nice dodge. Okay, we should be good. As long as he actually hits. Come on, two more. One. Perfect. Nice, very good. Alright. Okay. Second try. Second try. Not that bad. Now we're going to rescue Lucifer, who's imprisoned at the bottom of the Dark Palace. These are the keys, the keys that were, I, I mentioned that we were supposed to make. And with uh -huh. this, we can... Right, so about the endings, right? Uh, these are the keys that we need to actually do the ending and whatnot. Uh, there are three main endings, I think it is what it is. We have the Armageddon ending, which is when we side with the angels and blew up everything. This is considered a bad ending, but it's actually the fastest because we don't do the last boss fight. Um, there's the, uh, the Ragnarok endings, which is when we activate the Ragnarok program, which remakes the world, basically. Which is something that only the uh, children with the power of the devils and the angels can do. Uh, and Ragnarok is a program that Lucifer wrote to like, change the world and whatnot. And there's two Ragnarok endings. We have the... I think it's called the Brave New World ending. Uh, where we make the world a better place both for demons and humans, which is considered the true ending. And we have the god ending, which is one where instead of choosing to make a world for everyone that's better, we just choose to become god. And we have to fight the star god, which is the current god, uh, in order to become the, you know, we have to replace her. And that's a mm -hmm. fight that we don't do in the actual true ending. So it's interesting that the true ending actually skips one of the fights. Yeah. And yeah, Rush just evolved, not Rush, Veil vale just evolved into King Veil, vale, so there's more spells that we can buy. Actually yeah, we can get, get King Storm. And King Buster, I actually routed in King Buster also. Oh, okay. King Buster... Oh, I'm out of money, I have to go sell some stuff. I wonder if they stock some diamonds at this casino. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they don't! Ah, oh, so sad. Damn. But I'll just sell some of my... Mother tongues. It should be enough. Let me see. This is why we... This is why you should always buy pretty... Um, diamonds. We have more than enough of our lives, so it's fine. Um, I'll tell you if I'm winning as soon as I'm done with the last boss fight, which is the one where I might not win. Okay, King... Yep, it is Storm. not easy. Yeah. So normally for this fight we use King Storm, which is a very, very strong spell. It hits 8 times. Uh, it's very, yep. very good. But... <laughs> oh, I can't use a Debian here? Okay. I, I still need to change all of my units. But, the problem with King Storm is that it hits random targets, just like Death Rush. And we want to kill uh, one of the demons, I don't want to spoil it, but we're gonna see it in two seconds. We want to kill one of the demons before the other because it's really strong. So, I switched to using uh, King Buster, which 
only hits one demon and hits it four times. Because it turns out it's actually way better. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's hard. Okay. And the Lucifer also joined, but unfortunately, Lucifer is too high level, so we can summon it. We need to be level 35 and we're like level 25 or something. Yeah. <laughs> we're already fighting final bosses, and you know, we're level 20 something. <laughs> You don't get a lot of levels in the game, obviously. Yeah, only fighting the... Oh, that's the wrong... I, I summoned the wrong Ichigo class. I summoned the weak one. Uh, where's the strong Ichigo class? Oh, yeah, I guess I, we didn't mention that, but this is like another big difference between uh, uh, this game and most other Mega Ten games. You can have multiples of the same demon in your, yeah. in your car. That's true. We didn't really mention that. You can have... As many of the same demon as you want. As you can tell by the fact that I have 11 potions summoned. Yep, yep. Alright. Now we actually have to go through the Dark Palace. It's not too complicated, but then do The encounters here are really high leveled, so we really don't want to get them and get stuck in a fight. Mm -hmm. Take forever to run away. Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah, never enough potions. If I could get more, I would. Always too little. Alright, and now we take the portal to the Lighthouse, which is where the Oracle Room is, which is where the fate of the world gets decided. Oof. Lucky that they didn't get a random encounter. Yeah. I'm actually gonna have to save right before the fight, so I get to do that. Luckily, you can save anywhere in this game. Yeah. Alright, here we go. So now we have all the keys to enter the Oracle Room. And obviously Nagahisa asks us for the keys so that we side with them. But we will not give them and we're gonna fight. And this is the last fight. Yep. Keep your fingers crossed. Okay, we start with King Buster on Michael because Michael is the scary guy. They have many, many spells that hit very hard. They have uh, the Deaths, that's not uh, the King Sphinx, which is the one on the left, which is not his <laughs> demon, has Fire Breath, which will basically. Oh, this one! <laughs> Good oh. thing I mentioned it! <laughs> yup. Oh! so nice of the game to showcase what I was talking about. Fire Breath, which does a lot of damage, as you can see. And uh, Michael has Light Sphere. With, light, not Sphere, Light Spear, which... Uh, I'm actually not gonna kill it, I'm gonna kill it. So. Um, which uh, does like a thousand damage. No exaggeration. Oh no, they killed both of them. Why do you have to use Fire Breath twice in a row? Wow. Okay, so now we really want to heal up Vale. Mahazio, another AoE. That's horrible. The problem with AoE is that obviously we try to set both of our demons to heal up. But if they kill both of the demons that are trying to do any actions, we basically don't do anything. Yep. Young is not as bad. Okay, oh, this is perfect. Because now both of them get to use up. I'm going to try to summon. I'm going to try to do it anyways. Come on, attack the left one, the right one, the right one. Perfect. Awesome, okay. King Buster. Back to attacking. Oh, another Fire Breath, come on, bro. 
give me a break. Mm -hmm. That's a Toshi. Alright. I'm running out of Toshi. But... As soon as there's only one demon in the field, it's a much easier fight. But, mm -hmm. yep. But as long as we have both, this is really rough. Okay. She will bust again. Another crit on Ichigo Frost. Wow. Why Ichigo Frost hasn't been doing anything? <laughs> this is bullying. The uh, Azul Fire also got crit twice. Yeah, we hyped up uh, Ichigo Frost so much. And then yeah. Frost I'm actually gonna go for King Star. Unless I get very unlucky. Michael's dead. Good. So you're gonna swap the King Storm now? Or? Yeah, yeah, I already. This is King Storm. You can tell by the, oh, the sound effect. King Storm hits eight times. So as you can see, now we're doing yeah, real yeah. damage. But m many of my demons are also dead. Look at this. So I have to really play it safe. This is gonna try and kill my boy. Yep, Bill's dead. Yeah. Thankfully, I predicted this, so I used the revival item. Ooh. Now we just use King Storm and we should be good. This King Storm is see, King Storm is just so destructive. Yep, it's it's great as well. Okay, now I'm going to use Buster Almost. just so I can attack on lower HP. And they all live. Alright, first oh, try! I good. knew this King Buster strategy was good, I knew it. Yep. Okay, that first try. In practice, I died like four times in a row to this fight. But when I switched to King yeah, Buster, I was scary. winning every time. Alright, and off to the last room. Oh my god, we can get random encounters in here, I forgot. Okay. There you go. We're basically almost there. Please tell Google that time's coming up. All that's left is to choose the right option, so this is time is going to end in like 10 seconds. Oh, come on, skip the cutscene. Yeah, once again, different button for it. Alright, time's coming up. I'm just going to talk to Star God and then choose to make a new world, which I think is the first option. Uh, time. GG. Alright, GG's. Underestimate, this is a miracle. That was rough, that Azul fight was really, really bad. The Azul fight was bad, but then, other than that, it was quite alright. The forest fights were good, at least. And that's yeah, the like... forest fights were good. Diana was first try, even though it... Yeah, first try. Mm -hmm. Even though it was a bad fight. Alright. Thank you everyone for watching Devil Children live on SMT Marathon. It's just such a great... I'm just so happy to be able to showcase one of the Devil Children games here. I I really like these these games even though they're not that incredible. <laughs> but the mm -hmm. speed run is fun. So yeah, they're if anyone a little, they're a little simple. They're a little simple in their mechanics. Yeah, for sure simple. Uh so if anyone wants to learn uh Devil Children, join the Discord, we have a very good guide for it. Uh, I'm remaking it actually, just so it's a little better and doesn't have false information like the other one did. <laughs> we know, my guides are thorough, but they're not always correct. So, yeah, uh, a, a good chunk of them are routed. So, red book is routed, black book is routed, uh, fire book, right? Uh, oh yeah, well yeah, we have red book, a black book, white book, uh, fire book, light book, and dark book routed. The only one that's not routed is ice book, which I'll hopefully do this year. And, and Puzzle Call. Riser. Oh yeah, Masa yeah, Masai Masai Riser Riser is not. Right. Yeah. So only two games to, to speed on. So yeah, please. I think I think this is a great first Mega Ten game. The only problem is obviously that it's in Japanese. So please uh -huh. annoy the translators so they make an English patch, because this would be the perfect first Mega Ten game for anyone to pick up. 
It's simple. It yep. has some RNG dumbness that you have to get uh -huh. used to if you want to run the other games. No recruitments. It's perfect. Yep. I mean, even if you would do recruitments, the recruitments in this game is just you press talk and you hope it works. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> you choose one option and then they have some emojis. It's literally, mm -hmm. that's, that's literally the negotiations. So yeah, uh, anything else to say? Awesome. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. And... I guess I'll just say good luck on Soul Hackers. Yeah, thank you. Now I need to go set up that. So yeah.